So now I will show you how to do a factory network unlock. In my opinion, this is the most valuable way to unlock your phone. And once you have an unlocked phone, you will be able to resell it at a higher price and your phone will be compatible worldwide with all carriers. The first thing we have to do is to disable Find My iPhone. So simply go to settings, scroll down where it says iCloud and scroll all the way down where it says Find My iPhone. Make sure it is completely off so uh, you can turn it back on once your iPhone has been unlocked successfully. All right, so then we have to get the IMEI number. Simply open your dial pad and type star hash zero six hash. So as you will see, your 15 digit IMEI number will appear. You can also find this number on the back part of the box of your phone or also in the SIM card tray. All right, so this is by far the most important part of the whole unlocking process. Now keep this number somewhere close as we will need it in a few seconds to unlock this phone. All right, so now we're gonna use the computer. iTunes saying, congratulations, your iPhone has been unlocked. Boom, there you go guys, your phone is now fully factory unlocked and now it's compatible worldwide with all carriers. You should get a full signal on your new carrier. And that's it guys, that's how we unlock an iPhone 7. That's all for today guys, if you have any questions just leave me a comment and I'll try to help you as soon as I can. By the way guys, we're also giving away a free iPhone 7, completely sealed, brand new phone. You can find the instructions on how to enter the giveaway in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, take care. What's up guys, another test for you, this time with Coca-Cola. I'm actually very curious to see how the new Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus compares to the iPhone 7 Plus when dunked in a vat of Coca-Cola and then frozen for 12 hours in a uh, negative 35 degree Celsius freezer. So we're gonna see just how resilient this new phone is. It looks good, it survived my uh, water test, it did pretty well in the deep water test, even the freeze test was pretty good, but how about Coca-Cola? We're gonna fill this all the way up with some Coca-Cola, buy Coca-Cola, drink Coca-Cola, freeze your iPhone in Coca-Cola. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So right on the Galaxy display, it's not actually reacting to it. How funny would it be if it dissolved by tomorrow morning? <laughs> Anyways, as you guys can see, it's in there definitely, all that carbonation. So, seems to be working in there so far. All right, it's your turn iPhone. It might not do as well because it's not as water resistant, but then again, this, is, this isn't that much water. It's gonna be like two inches, two and a half max. All right, so doesn't work in this either. The Galaxy though is freaking out. It must be all the bubbles clicking everything. iPhone seems all right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it all the way up. I'm gonna put some lids and put it in the freezer overnight. All right, all the way up and all the way up here. My personal predictions. I think, um, I don't know, the iPhone, no way. There's no way it'll survive. It did worse in the tests. Galaxy actually has a good chance because of its resilience. I don't know, the actual syrup in this might help accelerate the water damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and go stick it into the freezer and see how it does for 12 hours. All right, all right, so here we are. Set these down, here's my medical freezer. I just turned it on so it's not too cold. All right, guys, good luck and good night. All right, so it's been 12 to 14 hours and we are at negative 32, it was at negative 34 earlier. So this is in Celsius, it's quite the temperature. Who it like over fizzed and went down. Oh my goodness, the actual containers like blew up. <laughs> All right, damn, yeah, that's sticky. Okay, so somewhere in that mess of high fructose corn syrup lies an iPhone and a Galaxy. All right, I don't know which is which actually, but somewhere in there is a mobile phone. I think it's been like even 15 hours. Oh my goodness, that is cold. Okay, it's not gonna be easy. So got my handy dandy blowtorch here. Whew. 
Ooh, man, that's like a sticky substance that will never wash out of here. Got to go about it here. All right, I think we got something. Oh, there it is. So, oh. Okay, I think that's the, oh, that's the galaxy. So it's in there, but it does not want to come out. I'm gonna get some more water. So they're facing their worst adversary yet, diabetes. Okay, here we go, here we go, melting, starting to reveal more and more of the galaxy. In the meantime, let's get this guy out of here. And the back. All right, there we go. So inside of there is a rose gold iPhone 7 Plus. Also a little difficult to get out. That's not gonna happen. Oh, there it is. So, the galaxy, is it alive? No sign of life. I'm gonna try and power it on. Oh, yes, it's working. Sweet. So, it looks like the galaxy has suffered no casualties working, and we're gonna have to see if the touchscreen still works here, but iPhone is still trying to get out of this. Oh, yep, looks like it is working. Seems a bit slow. But yeah, the Galaxy S8 Plus has survived the ordeal. That is amazing. So probably something to do with the IP68 water resistance, but nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Seems like these phones in general do really good against cold. So if you by any chance work in the Antarctic, you're a researcher, these are the phones for you. Um, not really doing anything for me, so. There we go. All right, let's try and power it on. Oh, it is working. Why did it turn off in the first place though? I feel like I see stains underneath the glass, but I'm not sure. I don't see moisture in the camera lens though, which is a good sign. This was in the water for much longer than Apple recommends. Apple recommends uh, 30 minutes at most. Oh, it's alive. Oh, look at that, it's like ghosting. That's what happens when an LCD gets really cold. It has this really weird ghost effect. Interesting. Look at that. You see this weird ghosting animation on the display. But both did survive against Coca-Cola. Super cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. In case you were wondering if you accidentally leave your phone in the freezer while selecting something to eat, uh, it'll survive. And if it accidentally gets drenched in Coca-Cola, that's amazing. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Peace.